There's so many different vlogs going on right now. <laughs> what a world we live in. I already wore that. You can't wear the same shit twice. So after eight hours to Frankfurt, then a connection for another hour, then another two hours, we're finally in London. It was crazy, not easy to find a flight. British Airways was on strike and we made it. I'm so tired. We're both dead. Wow, we're here in London. Got our own little house. This is Alexa's vlog. We rented a crib because there's gonna be myself, Alexa, my brother. Check it out. We got the living room in here. Another living room. There is a lot of chilling going on. Master bedroom. Closet. We got an elevator too. Another bedroom. Nice. Little balcony up here. Chilling out here in London. So after an amazing nap, showered, refreshed, killing it, ready to go, London. Oh, it's not so cold out here. It's quite nice. Day one, we're here for a big store opening, this department store called Flannels. We're about to go get something to eat. Taxi! Hello, taxi mate. These things are like the, the Maybachs of taxi cabs. Look how big it is. Luxurious taxi. Ciao, Elena. Okay, so it's on Bond Street. Okay, so we're headed to meet Philip. Philip Line, my good friend. Alexa, you excited to go? I'm excited. Alexa needs a new jacket. He's opening a store. <laughs> <laughs> we should have like a joint channel at this point. <laughs> yeah, we should. We do the same thing. We have the same camera. Mm -hmm. We're in the same place. Same taxi. You almost just got hit by a car. Yeah, and I got it on camera too, so that's gonna be interesting to watch. There's my gallery. But we're not here to see that. We're coming back. We're here to see Philip. Where is Mr. Pline? Oh. Hello. Is Philip here? Yes. Wow, where is he? <laughs> we found Philip. We're looking everywhere we for him. you. Philip, welcome to the vlog. You are here now. <laughs> here we are. Here we are. Everyone, What's going on? Everyone wants Philip to do his own vlog. We're waiting for your vlog. We block it up. Block it up. <laughs> oh, look at Alexa's uh, new. Amazing. Look at this. Wow. Different time zones. Different time zones. Here. Philip is. <laughs> we here shopping in Philippine with Philippine. Exactly. Who else does this? Look at this. Wow. That's the beast. How much are these? 5,000 bucks. 5K. Each. We engrave your name. Oh. We write whatever you want. <laughs> oh, Stallone! <laughs> Show the video. Hmm. Look at this. Lanza. So, Sylvester Stallone was shopping in here right before me. He was just me. here. He was killing it here. Wow. Phil, I didn't know you were so brave. <laughs> 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 That's amazing! Wow, we're doing some serious damage. Rob the f***ing bank! Wow. We got a lot of stuff. Alexa, you better get ready to carry a bunch of shopping bags. We got a Oh, Luchi! Well, you know what, guys? I tell you something. This is the best ever, but not only this. We have worldwide support. Oh, worldwide. Berlin, Monte Carlo, New York, Milano. And if you miss a city, you can be assured we're going to open the next week. <laughs> World domination. Luchi! Oh! <laughs> Philip, fly safe. We see you later. Bye, see you soon. All right, now we got to carry all these bags out. We got a long walk ahead of us. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Come on, Alexa, move, move, move. I love how we were going to lunch and we were just shopping for two hours. I know. Day two in London, let's go. I'm jet lagged. Yeah? No, I feel I better now. I slept a lot. I slept all day yesterday. I am all good to go. Me too. I was in a black hole. It's a nice location. We're staying in St. James. Yeah. 
We here, we go into flannels, doing some press interviews. Tonight, we're gonna be practicing doing some rappelling off this building. So we're gonna see how tall the building is. See what's good with this uh, safety situation. We should be okay though. They've got a whole production team and like a safety team and insurance people to make sure that it's safe enough for you to do. So I'm jumping off a building. The first time I jumped off a building, they had the jankiest setup. I was like, literally, it was, it wasn't even like a real professional team. It was the guys who put up billboards and the signs. They were just setting it up for us. It was crazy. Do you want him to die? Then don't rush me. So like probably wasn't the best vibe before jumping off a building, but. Yeah, this is it. Okay, so we're here at Flannels London on Oxford Street. These are all the screens that I made some designs to be like projecting on the screen. Hi, nice to Alex, nice to meet you. Hi, Alex. Look at old man. Look, I'm already here. Wow, this is sick. I got my Croc Kelly over here. Stock certificate. I make a lot of these pieces when I'm like on the road, when I'm in airplanes and stuff. Another Birkin. What floor are we on? The third? Second. Second. It's all close. We're gonna kill it. I'm jumping off the side of the building. Oh, Gucci, Gucci. In my white tee. Alexa. Fix my hairdo. It's so annoying when you like have your hair done and then you change shirts. It always just is popping up for the rest of the day. Trying on all my new gear. Look at all this gear. Gucci. What a nice little selection. Oh yeah, look number two. Yeah. Feeling the Gucci out here and I'm trying to get my hair right though. Uh, <laughs> it's so much easier to wear a hat. It, it is more of a rush and more fun painting in the street, but you know, for your work to be truly enjoyed and for your work to last, you have to do canvas work. And I think it's important because that, that's how your legacy lives on. These sculptures are resin casted. So I make the mold with styrofoam and then we, we resin it and then it gets electrochrome plated. I think art and fashion go hand in hand. Fashion as an artist is like, you know, kind of a part of my creativity and, and another way I express myself. When I'm in London, I spend my time kind of like I'd be at home. It's like a second home for me. Um, I have a lot of friends here, we go out, there's a lot of amazing restaurants, the shopping is amazing, you can find some of the coolest stuff. And finally the best advice anyone has ever given you. Uh, keep it simple stupid, kiss, yeah. keep it simple stupid. So that's just been kind of like a motto in my life and I don't know why it's, it's worked out. So. Okay, I got the off-white full look. We're getting the dope ass gear. How do I look? Terrible. <laughs> 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 ah, Anish! What up, Anish? Yes. What up, bro? Oh, I heard you're vlogging too over here now. I'm trying to be like you. One We're one. all switching from Instagram to vlogging. <laughs> the man who made all this happen, Anish. Anish is always making me rich over here. <laughs> That's very grateful for you. No, no. Grateful. I got like a nice little shopping spree. See? 3K for the day. See, Anish, with vlogging, you have to do the personal selfie yeah, one, too. This yeah, because you got this guy, but you yeah. need, like, this guy doing but I hate, I feel so awkward doing this, like. I know. Isn't it weird? Like, when I'm rolling, and I'm in the airport, like, rolling around with Alexa, I'm like, yeah. vlogging, everyone's looking at you like you're fucking nuts. He's been telling me for, like, three years, start vlogging, get a camera, and I feel so weird. Yeah, but we're doing the Instagram stories all day long. Come on, it's yeah. just, like, a little bit better. Alexa is the one who got me into the vlog. Have you met Anish? This is my boy right here. He's the one who got us over here. Oh yeah? Let's see. Whoa. Daddy's nice to baby. <laughs> <laughs> and he sees everything. He's the king of the watch game. Listen, you're his sugar mama now. <laughs> yeah, she take care of me. <laughs> mama. And he's my manager. Oh, hi. <laughs> Wait, I want to get something. Of course. Very excited about this. I'm dancing to no music. There's so many different vlogs going on right now. <laughs> wow, I'm warm. 
<laughs> no, <it's laughs> like, you up for a little bit. <laughs> People like that angle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the angle. That's the, that's shit. the shit. That's what they want to see. Yeah. What would you choose? Supreme, Gucci, Louis, or Supreme, Gucci, Off White, Alexander McQueen, Moschino. What else we got? Palm Angels. Palm Angels. Uh, Philip Prince. Pine. Balenciaga, MCM. <laughs> Yeah, I'm always changing and evolving as an artist. I think it's important to grow. And you know, my newer works are a lot more refined. So if you look at some of my newest paintings, they're more, uh, instead of just a portrait of Mr. Monopoly, it's kind of like a scene. What's happening, I'm adding more shading in him. Finally, graffiti art is accepted as a period of art history. A lot of the advertisement you see, a lot of the fashion you see, is all being inspired by graffiti art and street art. Because for a while, being a street artist was not a cool thing. When you said you were a street artist to a main gallerist or a museum, they would just like kind of, you know, look down upon you. So now it's kind of taken more of a positive connotation, which is great for all of us. And I hope I've contributed to that as well because, you know, I advocate for, you know, you know, not really destroying property, doing it in more abandoned buildings or places where they want you to paint and stuff like that. Anonymity kind of stemmed back to doing illegal graffiti and getting in trouble for it. So that's kind of why I was hiding my face and being anonymous, but it just kind of become like a trademark at this point. But you know, maybe one day I'll show my face. We'll see, who knows. I've been hiding under this mask for so many years now, you know, it's getting a little hot under here. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Such a pleasure. Oh, thank you. Oh, we're getting a lot of good content over here. Yeah. Yeah. Interviews. Okay, now time to do some shopping. I already wore that. You can't wear the same shit twice. You have these in 42? Oh, wow, this is stiff too. But you got a smaller head. Okay, so we were given a $3,000 allowance to spend in the store. Now we're gonna play the guessing game to see if we went over or under. What do you think, Alexa? Over or under? Over for sure. Over? By how much? I don't know, but I think over. I think over by 200. I'm guessing the total is 3,200. 3,200. I think 3,400. Okay, from the personal shopper who knows the prices, what is your guess? Are we over, <laughs> under, and what do you guess the price? She's a professional at this, by the way. I would say you're over. 200. Oh, I already said that, 3,200, okay. What are we guessing? Are we over, under, by how much? All right, he's getting real technical. He's like looking at the prices. No, I'm not looking at the prices. Just this stuff here? Yeah. Just this. I think you're under. Not much. 200. Okay, so you're saying 2,800. I'm saying 3,200. She's saying 3,400. She said 3,200. You're under. Oh! Oh, what? Uh, three, one, three, six. Oh, we would have been three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am absolutely starving. Oh, yeah, we out here in London. All right, so we finished the part of picking out clothes and shopping and interviews part of the day. Now we're gonna go work on some paintings for flannel. You gonna paint, Alexa? Maybe. Alexa. Is learning to be an artist. I am an artist. What kind of artist are you? I am a graffiti artist. You've never done graffiti in your life. <laughs> I'm a pop artist. You're a pop artist? I'm, she likes I'm to make Monopoly it pop? Artist. Oh, so now you're a copycat. I'm Alexa Monopoly. <laughs> I like how it sounds. Yeah. Yo, this is crazy. Look how many people are going to be walking by my painting. We're prepping the piece for tomorrow when I hang off the building. I'm only going to do a couple little things. I'm just kind of drawing it out and getting it started so tomorrow's going to be easy. Boom, boom. So this is going to be the British flag that we're working on.